Welcome to our journey into the world of ATEX marking. This mysterious code is the key to unlocking safety in explosive atmospheres. But don't worry, we'll crack the code together and make it easy to understand. First up, the CE marking. This is your equipment's passport to the EU, showing it meets all the necessary safety standards. And that number? It's like a backstage pass, identifying the notified body that gave the green light. Equipment Group 1 is for use in underground mines, where the risk of explosion is highest. Equipment Group 2 is for use in industrial environments, where the risk of explosion is lower. Think of it like a risk assessment. Group 1 is like a red flag, while Group 2 is like a yellow flag. Now, let's talk categories. Category 1 is like the superhero of protection, ready for the toughest zones where danger lurks at every corner. Category 2 is like a safety net, handling expected challenges with ease. And Category 3? It's like a warning sign, providing a low level of protection. Atmosphere type is next. G stands for gas, vapor, or mist, basically anything that can go boom in the air. D is for dust, because even tiny particles can pack a punch. The X symbol is our badge of safety, certifying that the equipment is ready to handle explosive atmospheres. It's like a superhero cape, but for machines. Protection methods are like the gadgets in a spy movie. From intrinsic safety to flameproof enclosures, each method is designed to keep things from going boom. Gas Group 2A is like a gentle breeze, it's the least explosive. Gas Group 2B is like a strong wind, it's moderately explosive. Gas Group 2C is like a hurricane, it's the most explosive. Temperature classes tell us how hot things can get before they become a problem. Temperature class T6 is like a warm hug, it's the lowest temperature. Temperature class T1 is like a hot oven, it's the highest temperature. Finally, we have some additional considerations. Ambient temperature range ensures your equipment doesn't get too hot under the collar, and the IP rating keeps dust and water at bay. It's all about keeping things cool and dry. It was all about marking on an ATEX compliant equipment. Do mention your views or questions on the video in comment section. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Stay tuned for many more videos. Thank you.